Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher Slides. Thanks for checking in as always. Today I'm going to be tying up the Galactic Mop. This is obviously a mop fly variation. For the hook, I'm going to get started with a barbless emerger hook from Risen Fly, a size 10. For the bead, I'm going to be using a 4.6 millimeter tungsten bead in silver. Uh, I'm also going to be adding some 0.02 uh, lead-free wire wraps. Uh, one to secure the bead, but also to make it a little bit heavier. And this fly can be tied, obviously, using a various different hooks. I know a lot of people like these on jig hooks. This is just the way I prefer to fish them. For the thread, I'm going to be using UTC 70 denier in black. You can obviously switch that up if you want a hot spot collar or if you want it to match the, the color of the pattern that you're making. Uh, if you haven't checked out Renome scissors, make sure you check them out. Super sharp, super great scissors. For the body of this fly, what makes this unique is the modeled Galaxy Mop Chenille from Hairline. So as you can see, uh, this is a chenille type material uh, designed specifically for mops. So I'm gonna cut about a one inch section free and I'm gonna take a lighter and singe one end. That's gonna be the free end, not the end that I tie to the shank. I'm gonna tie the end that I didn't burn to the shank right on top, make sure it's nice and secure. I like to add super glue on mine uh, to make sure that they've got some added durability. Uh, I think this is a huge improvement on store-bought mop flies. Super simple step if you tie your own flies to make them last longer. So for this specific color, I'm using Ice Dub in Silver Holographic. I really, really like this material. Um, the fibers on this ice dub, I, I'm not totally sure what's different from the other ones. Uh, they're, they're perfectly straight, and so if you just wrap them on pretty loosely, you get uh, some fibers that hang straight, as you can see. Uh, and it just makes a super easy collar and super easy hackle. Uh, as, as If you pull these fibers back as you wrap forward, uh, you can see you just have some, again, super... Super easy uh, dubbing, uh, super easy collar, nice straggly. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to fill up the head of this. But again, you don't wanna dub it on there too tightly. If you just spin it once, I've found, you can get a lot of those uh, free hanging fibers like you see. Once I got that where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish, cut my thread off, and that's about it. Tie them up, fish them, let me know what you think. This material comes in a lot of different colors and uh, you can mix them up.